Hey guys, it's Will, and in this video, I want to talk to you about three things that I've learned from making now well over $10 million, closer to roughly $13 million now over the last few years. Most importantly, with just one product and one funnel, a very little complexity. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name's William Brown. I'm the founder of an eight-figure e-learning company, also a seven-figure real estate holding company as well. And in this video, I just wanna add as much value as I can map out some of the things that have really helped us to scale as far as we have over the last few years. So let's get straight into it with point number one. You must have a mathematically proven client acquisition system so that you can scale paid advertising and actually have control over your business, control over the numbers, control of how far you actually want to take this, this company uh, that you're building. So to begin with, what the hell is an acquisition system, right? It's how you actually move somebody from knowing nothing about you through to becoming a paying client. How you control that process of somebody knows nothing about you, then they learn who you are, what you do, how you can help them, and eventually talk to you in some, some way, some manner, communicate with you and become a client. And it's how you do that in a consistent, repeatable and profitable manner. Now let's talk about paid versus organic. So can you generate sales through organic traffic? Absolutely you can, of, of course you can. And organic uh, is really great to actually bolt onto a paid acquisition system. But the problem is you can't scale organic. Okay, you, you simply cannot scale organic. And the reason for that is, is because you cannot control eyeballs, but you can control ad spend. And what I mean by that is whenever you, let's say you release a YouTube video or you do an Instagram post or you do a tweet on, on Twitter, you never really know how many people are actually gonna see that and engage with that and click that and talk to you because of it and so on and so forth. So you have no control over that process. Whereas with paid ads, you can genuinely really build a lot of consistency there. So within our company, we know almost down to the dollar and the day that if we put $1 in and we wait nine days, we're going to have $5.2 back out in revenue, $2.7 back out in cash. It really is just truly predictable and controllable and sustainable as well. And that is the cornerstone of a great business. You can't have a company where it's up one month, down the next, 300k this month, 75k the next. It's just not it's not sustainable. Now, when it comes to an acquisition system, there's a few kind of different ways to go. So for example, you could drive people into an opt-in, you could take people into a, a webinar, you could take them through to a, a VSL, for example, and eventually transition them to a sales call or even a, a sales page if your pricing is in alignment with that. And every step of the acquisition system will carry a cost, okay? There's a cost attached to every bit of friction that you add in, and there's a reduced cost attached to every bit of friction that you take out. So one thing that we do is we have a whole system for our survey that people have to fill out before they get on a sales call with us. We've gone to extreme lengths. I had my data assistant build the most in-depth mathematics behind the survey answers. It's just crazy, the lengths that, that we've gone to. And here's the thing, you can actually engineer your acquisition system to suit your objective and suit your, your pricing and whether you want to go the sales call route or the, the sales page route and so on and so forth. It's just really important, coming back to my point here, that it's mathematically solid. And just to give you an example of that, this is all just unit economics. So I was at a, uh, a talk with uh, a guy called Sabri Subi here in Dubai recently. And one of the, the audience members was talking about how he wanted to launch a $90 per month recurring. Then he wanted to upsell people into a, a $270 back end and he wanted to do this thing and that thing and he was asking Sabri Subi what do you think of this and Sabri just said that is not going to work the mathematics there are just not going to work if you run YouTube ads it's going to cost you too much money to make that $90 sale you've then got to lose money on the front hope to god that they come in on the back there's got to be so much complexity there in the steps the email the phoning the lead the setting the sales call to ascend them it's just a complete mess Sabri just said look just sell an eight nine ten thousand dollar product it's it's a lot simpler than people think. And actually the guy was shocked. He, he said, oh my God, I can't do that. There's no way I can take someone from completely cold, clicking on an ad to handing over $9,000. The funny thing is I was sat right next to this guy and our product is $9,000 and we sell it to completely cold traffic and our typical sales cycle is four days. So on average, if somebody clicks an ad on Monday, statistically, they're gonna spend $9,000 on Thursday, if, if not before, via our structure. 
And our mathematics are just watertight. They are just completely sound. We track every single individual next step that a customer has to take or a prospect has to take to come into our world, transition through to watching a free training, booking in a sales call, speaking with the team, being followed up with. We've got it down to an absolute exact science. And this is the point that I'm making. If you haven't got this down to an exact science and you're, you're not profitable yet or you're struggling to close or you're struggling to, to run a profitable uh, business, this is why. Because your unit economics are not right. They're not correct. They're not dialed in. You're not spotting those points within your acquisition system uh, that are maybe out of alignment, that aren't functioning properly, that are costing you too much money, that are coming with too much friction. And you have to solve that if you're gonna actually turn this into a profitable venture. And by the way, if you are struggling with this or you're intimidated by this, I can certainly help. I've actually put a book a call link in the description of this video. More than happy to jump on a quick call with you and just look at what you're doing and, and give you some advice and guidance because not only have I done this for my company that's allowed us to scale up to where we are now, just below $13 million in, in total sales, but I've done this for roughly 20 other businesses now from fitness to finance to addiction, a, a whole load of different industries. You've probably seen the testimonials here on the YouTube channel from those guys. If you do need any help with that, please book in a call and, and I'll lend a hand. So that was point number one. Next, let's talk about point number two. Keep it simple, one funnel, one product. One, one, not two, okay. Now I learned this from Sam Ovens uh, when I was in Sam's Quantum Mastermind back in uh, 2021. And when I went into that mastermind, we had an upsell, a downsell, this thing on the back end, a free ebook, the main program, a bronze tier, a silver tier, a gold tier, a platinum tier, coaching. The business was just a bloody mess. We were just trying to do as many things as possible, just hoping to God that something bloody worked. And Sam just said, look, what is the most profitable product that you sell? And what's the most valuable offering? What's the most valuable product that you sell? Uh, and that was our platinum program, $9,000. Uh, it has the group coaching, the one-to-one -one coaching, the course element as well. And he just said, look, turn everything else off, sell that one thing and nothing else. And I guarantee you, you're gonna make a lot more money with a lot less stress. That's exactly what we did. And we more than doubled the business uh, that year from just doing that, just not really doing more, just stopping doing all the stupid stuff that, that we were doing. That's what made the difference, not more, but actually less. And second to that, just making sure, again, coming back to point number one, that you charge an appropriate high ticket price for that offering, because this is another thing that I learned from, from Sabri Subi, actually. The higher your price and the simpler your operations, the simpler your acquisition system, the easier this whole thing is. If you charge, let's say, $9,000. You can be bad at copywriting, you can be bad at making BSLs, you can have a terrible funnel structure, and the mathematics are still gonna work due to the cost of actually acquiring a customer through a solid, simple funnel structure. And just following on from that, in regards to pricing, one thing that I strongly suggest, and one thing that's worked very well for us, is look, you might not feel comfortable just charging five, seven, nine thousand dollars a really high ticket price right now, right out of the gate for whatever reason. Here's a suggestion for you. Start at 3.8, 4.8K range. Really, if you go any lower than 3.5K, you're really gonna struggle to make ads work. So please don't charge any less than than like three, three and a half K or you, you might as well not even bother with, with doing this stuff, but maybe start at 3.8K and just dial things in. You know, make your coaches better. Make your coaching team higher quality, better trained. Add in group coaching, add in one-to-ones, add more depth to, to the program, add in more weeks. As you learn what your customers need, put that in there. You know, we've recently added in a couple of mini bonus courses inside the main program uh, for free for our clients because we, we learned that, oh, they're struggling with this, well, let's just make a little mini course and put it in there. Or oh, they're struggling with the accounting side, the bookkeeping side, let's make a little mini course and just put it in there for them to help. And then uh, that allows us to actually raise the price as well and move up from, from, from where we were, so $8,000 to $9,000, just that kind of thing. You know, just keep making your product better, keep making your processes better, keep making your team better, and that's gonna allow you to not only have a better business, it's also gonna allow you to charge a higher price, and that's gonna just make business operations a lot easier, 
a lot simpler, a lot smoother, and it's going to aid the mathematics of your business as well. And it's going to spit out a lot more profit at the end of it. And that last point there uh, was one of the main things that I learned from Sam Ovens when I was in his quantum mastermind. I just want to add this in here really quickly. If you're not in masterminds, if you're not hiring coaches and mentors, please do this, guys, because there is, there's no way that I would be sat here today, multimillionaire, living in Dubai, having just won the ClickFunnels 10 million award, None of that would have happened without the coaches, the masterminds, the mentors that I've had. Uh, Alex Becker, Sam Ovens, uh, Cole Gordon, Dan Bradbury, I could go on. If you're struggling right now, if you know one element of your business is not working or you're struggling with closing, you're struggling with product, you're struggling with client acquisition, just hire someone. It doesn't have to be me. You know, If you'd like me to help you, you can book in a call via the link in the description. No, no problem. And I'd, I'd love to help. But it doesn't have to be me, guys. Go to Sam, go to Alex, go to Cole, go to Dan, any of these really great, talented guys and just learn from them, learn from their network, learn from the other people in their, their masterminds and just save yourself the, the time and the mistakes and the wasted money and, and so on and so forth. And this leads really well into my third and final point. So your business and your life is simply the result of the decisions, the choices that you've made so far. So I don't mean any, any offense by this, but if you are broke, that is due to your decisions. If you're rich, that's due to, to your decisions. If you've got a, a struggling business, that's due to your choices that you've made, your lack of education and so on and so forth. And equally, if you've got a great business, if, if you've got a, th a thriving business, then again, that's just because of the steps that you've taken, the decisions that you've made, and so on and so forth. This is one thing that I took from uh, Grant Cardone's book, The 10X Rule. Stop blaming other people, stop blaming the market, circumstances, the economic kind of positioning that we're in right now, and just blame yourself for everything. I blame myself for everything. If anything goes wrong, if I make a mistake, if a customer's not happy, if a team member is not happy, then I always just try and blame myself. And I say, what have I done wrong? What haven't I done? What boxes have I not ticked? And that's been been a, a really big help for me. And coming back to the context of this video, if your funnel is currently not profitable, then that's simply because you don't know something. You're missing something, some kind of knowledge within that to make it work. That's all. And as soon as you have that knowledge, it's going to be profitable. On the other hand, if you're getting sales calls, but you're not closing them, then again, that's just a lack of whatever it is within sales. Maybe it's your scripting, maybe it's your flow, maybe it's your tonality. Something's wrong, but again, the good news is you can get it fixed with the right time and steps and education and guidance. My advice to you would be focus on each step of what you're doing. So if it is the funnel, if it is the acquisition system, you get that right first. If that is solid and you're getting calls, but you're struggling to close, focus on that next, get that right next. If it's delivery, if you're struggling with uh, ascending clients or building out a back end and increasing your, your LTV so that you can actually uh, put more money in the front end and get more money out on the back end and, and just increase the, the strength of your mathematics. Again, make sure you focus over there, dial that in. Uh, that's one thing that, that we are focused on in, in my business right now uh, as we scale towards a million dollars a month. So it's just a process of uh, learning, iteration, take the next step, learn, just grab that next piece of, of knowledge that you need, put that puzzle in uh, and the growth always comes as you carry on ticking those boxes uh, and moving forward and learning what needs to be learned. So again, the work, the decisions, everything that you do now, that you do today, it may not pay off straight away. I'll, I'll end on this point, okay? What you do now, it might not show for a week, for a month, for a year. A lot of the time, we will have an amazing day. So we recently had a like a $57,000 day. We didn't do anything special. We didn't do anything new. It was just this, this, the team are just doing fantastic right now. And I was saying to our sales team manager, Alex, this is just because of the work that we did one month ago, three months ago, six months ago, that's resulting now, that's, that's, that's paying off now. And it's the same for you. All of the things that you do now, the hard work, the correct decisions, the moving forwards, the books that you read, the courses that you take, the mentors and masterminds that you head into, this stuff is, is maybe gonna take a little while to pay off, but it will, it, it absolutely will. So I hope that helps guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video soon.